Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Thanks for coming back. Today we're going to be talking about Cybertruck frame failures. Mr. Beast now has a new rival and AI gone wild. <laughs> Stay tuned. My king's coming back, that's what I'm banking on. We even celebrate the grace of God with that filet and I'm just saying we came a long way from in the grave. So on the Cybertruck front, um, we have some interesting news that's been coming out from this channel, Whistlin' Diesel, uh, who did a bunch of tests, nasty, brutal tests on, on a Ford F-150 and on a Cybertruck Beast truck. Um... The Cyber Beast truck, whatever it is, one with three motors, uh, and had a horrendous failure happen with uh, the towing hitch frame. The actual frame of the truck snapped, and it was caught on camera trying to pull an F-150 out of the ditch. Well, no, it was stuck on whatever those culvert things, and it just tried to pull it out. The chain tugged. And the truck kind of lurched and then it tugged again really hard. The whole bumper flew off the back of the Cybertruck. And when they looked at it, the actual aluminum cast frame had split in half and the whole bumper and hitch assembly came off the back of the, the Cybertruck. Let's, uh, let's take a look because after that, um, Whistlin Diesel made some comments about it and he had some people post after his first video on similar incidents happening to them just pulling things with the Cybertruck, not doing the crazy things he was doing. So let's take a look at that. Just say that's going to be a big problem and it already is. Two days later I got this message. Family pulling a travel trailer hit a large bump on the highway, lost their rear end, and then got rear-ended by their own trailer. I don't know if there's any reports on it as I haven't been able to find anything on it besides seeing it and taking a picture as we drove by. I said, you watched the trailer come off. They hit probably a pothole and the truck and trailer bounced probably six inches off the ground, exactly as I predicted. And when it landed, the trailer ripped off and smashed into the back of the truck. We slowed down as the trailer went all over the place before coming to a stop. I took a picture of them on the side of the road and kept on our way to the T. That's exactly what I said to happen. And it's going to happen again. Let's say your trailer hits a pothole or gets a flat. It could shear this whole thing off. As you can see in Tucker Carlson's video, they're loading up a dump trailer full of dirt, which weighs considerably heavier. Or this guy hauling a skid steer. Or this guy hauling a TRX. Or this guy hauling other things. Wow. Uh, yeah, there's going to be a lot more accidents. So I hope you don't hit a pothole on the road because your entire hitch is going to snap off. So he's not wrong with what he's saying. Um, there is a, a counter argument by the bearded Tesla guy. We'll just switch to that in a second, who goes into the details on how the whole back end assembly is made um, and how it has a crumple zone that's designed to detach uh, and, and explains, you know, the forces that that actually caused the, the Tesla to fall apart or spontaneously deconstruct was actually not the force of the pull uh, on that chain pulling the F-150. It was the force before that when the whole Cybertruck back end was dropped from six feet onto a solid concrete barrier with all the force of the weight of the batteries and the truck itself over 6,000 pounds onto that hitch um, from about six feet up down. And uh, yeah, let's just take a look at that. Hold off. What we're looking at here is the actual trailer hitch of this truck. Now this truck is rated to tow 11,000 pounds and has a hitch load of something just over 1,100 pounds. So 1,100 pounds vertical pressure can be placed on this hitch in its rating and it can be pulling 11,000 pounds. Those are really important numbers to keep in mind. We'll get back to that later. All right, so first thing I wanna show you is the casting. And this is part of the casting back here that's um, housed behind this um, aluminum casting here. This thing is its own separate piece. This is not part of the frame of the truck. This is, and as we look, you can see where the bolts are mounting through, connecting the Giga casting itself um, to this bracket. All right, so great, wonderful. The bolts are very strong. The casting itself is also very strong. How did this thing even break? Well, 
If you watch the video, this truck landed on this trailer hitch. This is almost a 7,000 pound truck. So 6,000 pounds of truck landing on this hitch. Again, a hitch that's rated for a downward force of 1,100 pounds. So six times that dropping on it, pushing upwards on a concrete surface. So I think it's pretty obvious to point out that, hey, there's some forces being put on the back of this truck that are way beyond what it is rated to do. And a lot of people are starting to talk about if you see a Cybertruck towing to get away and run away, it's super dangerous. What if you hit a really hard pothole? It's absolutely ridiculous. And I know this from experience, actually. So I towed a Cybertruck on the back of a Cybertruck 2,400 miles across this country. And in that four days, I was towing 9,456 pounds. So well up into the upper limits of what this truck is able to handle. And a part of that route included going through the mountains in Denver, pothole galore in March of this year. So I have hit a ton of hard potholes and zero issues. So he makes some great points um, that the, the capacity of the truck is well rated to tow and deal with these forces. However, the force of it dropping six feet onto its hitch with the weight of that truck is what caused the issue. And the aluminum cast frame is not designed for sheer force. It's, it's Aluminum has really good tensile strength, but it does not have the sheer force strength. And if I just look, up, look that up real quick here, what is the sheer strength of aluminum versus steel? Your standard alloy of aluminum would be rated at 40,000 PSI. Stainless steel would be 70,000 shear strength. Uh, shear strength is its ability to resist forces that cause the material's internal structure to slide against itself. Uh, so I think I've, there's a diagram. So the shear force is this force that moves the metal in a up or down, you know, opposite direction. And that's where the aluminum cast, and, and it's it's not just aluminum, it's like reinforced cast. I forget what they call it, cold casting or whatever it is, aluminum, that the, the giga casting, that's what they call it uh, at Tesla. But the giga casting is not able to withstand that. So there actually may be an issue here. And whistling diesel guy, he actually, ends up doing a bunch of tests with the Ford F-150 to see if it will withstand something similar um, falling on its back end uh, like the Cybertruck did. So I'll just skip ahead to that. Here we go. Now, as you can see here, we have a solid steel hitch bolted to the back of a steel frame. Nothing is going to happen. Nothing can happen. Yeah. It's steel. I'm But I think something major did happen with the truck. Yeah. Actually, I will agree, it, it is bending. I, I noticed the hitch didn't break off. It's literally just the back half of the frame that just bent up some. No, the truck itself oh, is fine. Right. It's right here. The frame just creased right there. That's it. And I was dropping it hard. I do understand that that puts a lot of stress on something, but the steel is not going to break. It just bent. I don't disagree. That is a failure point. I mean, it shouldn't bend. I should be able to throw this off of the moon onto the earth and it wouldn't bend or break. Little tongue in to uh, cheek there, but um, it's, it's true. It did not break. However, it did bend. And the reality is the back end of that truck is way lighter than the cyber truck. So he was just dropping it with nothing in it. If he had weighted down that, that whole tail section with 6,000 pounds of weight and then did that, I think he would probably see different results. However, it did bend after a while. He dropped it a bunch of times. And when it hit just right on that hitch, it bent the whole frame, but it didn't break. It just bent. 
So there is a point there to be made, and he actually goes on to say... Broke the hitch off. Let's see how the Ford hitch does with a chain. Yeah, it's fixing itself. It's literally straightening the truck out. All right, let's see if we can straighten our frame back out. Concrete block falling from 15 feet in the air right onto the hitch. Surely that would just snap it right now. <laughs> oh, I just straightened it out. You fixed it. It's not gonna break. Oh. Look at the frame, look, it no way. The frame is completely straight again. Let's see if it starts in drive. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so clearly this guy is insane. But truthfully, it did, it did straighten itself back out, essentially. Probably not perfectly straight. Um, and it didn't break off. So there is an issue here that this aluminum casting could have a problem. Uh, and, and I've seen other posts on Cybertruck, you know, fan uh, forums and stuff saying it broke as it's intended. So it's supposed to break off and it has little kind of segregated sections in the aluminum casting where it breaks off and then just that part breaks, it doesn't affect the rest of the truck. But the thing is we're dealing with the trailer hitch assembly and the whole attachment to the frame, that whole part of the frame breaking while people are transporting things. Think of it, the, the trailer brakes, which, which are connected to a cable that should, you know, like if the hitch broke off from the rest of the vehicle, it would disconnect the, uh, the, the chain and cause the brakes to go on or, or the, the cord would disconnect. In this case, that's not necessarily what would happen because the whole frame comes off with everything still attached. <laughs> so that trailer could now just be hauling and like, like that couple that experienced it, they were rear-ended by the own, their own trailer. Um, so I think this is something that Cybertruck needs to look at. However, I do agree that the forces that actually broke it were not the towing of that F-150. It was when the Cybertruck dropped off of the culvert onto that concrete block right on the hitch with all the weight. That being said, go, go. Mr. Beast, totally changing topics. Mr. Beast has a competitor, so I'm not going to go into more of the accusation stuff, but I just was noticing something from Mr. Beast's, uh, well, actually I saw in, in Google Trends, um, a new channel coming online, increasing incredibly in like 24 hours since it came online, it had 24 million subscribers. So uh, I, I went and looked at Mr. Beast's community notes to see if he had updated anything. He did come out with a new video, which was uh, part of their uh, seven days in a cave, uh, living seven days in a cave. That video came out, but there was no real updates on anything uh, but on his community notes somebody made this comment right here if we go into the comments Ronaldo is coming there's a bunch of comments on this Cristiano is gonna cook you Ronaldo will be here any moment Ronaldo is coming this is three days ago who they're talking about is Cristiano Ronaldo uh, who I don't even really know, except that he's a soccer player from Portugal, I believe, who has a following on Instagram of over 500 plus million people. He just started a YouTube channel. When did it launch? Um, does it say here, I think? He joined on July 8th, but he didn't actually set up his channel until, well, I think we can tell from the videos. He's got 20 videos up. The oldest one is, uh, let's see, three days ago, his oldest video. And he's already got a gold <laughs> YouTube button <laughs> in three days. He has 
41.5 million subscribers. Wow. Mr. Beast needs to look out, especially with the controversy stuff going on. This guy is taking the channel by storm. Let's see if you channel stats. Subscribers, well, it looks like the speed of the increase might be decreasing, maybe. But that's crazy. Crazy. Okay. Switching topics again, completely. AI, what is going on in AI? I'm always looking at new technology and looking at, you know, Bible prophecy and stuff coming out and how AI interacts and how I really believe that the connection with AI and even Neuralink and stuff, technology that's coming out with robots and the ability to recreate human personalities with AI and apparent intelligence is all part of end time events. Uh, it makes sense for what, what the Bible talks about. but. Um, I also like to just kind of keep up to date with what's going on in the AI world. And, and I love some of the artwork and mid journey and all the, all the different AI artwork out there, the ability to create things on the fly. Grok two is now, uh, out Grok two plus, I think it is, or premium. You can now generate uncensored images. So people are creating images of, you know, President Trump and Kamala Harris hugging each other, saying, uh, you know, whatever, this is the party of love or, you know, unity or whatever. Different things actually using famous people, which they're allowed to use on Grok2, which they're not allowed to use on virtually any other uh, platform. But this is uh, something that came out just this week. Reshab posted some videos of AI gone crazy, and I just thought you might like to see this too. It's just some weird tomatoes moving around. Cute and creepy. Uh, I'm not sure if I can have the music on there for that, but uh, there's other ones in this post which get really weird. So this one is especially weird that I'm about to show you. <laughs> hey how's it going i gotta get out of here oh i'm gonna turn into the kid oh i'm gonna go snowboarding nope i'm a helicopter <laughs> okay that's weird here's another one a little weird no sound on this one it's just AI. I, I think they start with an image and get the AI to connect images and it does weird things. <laughs> it, but it makes, you know, apart from the weirdness, the videos actually look realistic <laughs> except for what's actually happening in them. Oh my goodness. That's hilarious. And now there's like just an avalanche of snow and flames. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Here's another one. This is kind of creepy. This lady turns into a dog. Let's see if I can get this to fit better. I noticed that there's a little paw down here. That's so creepy. That's so weird. Here's another one, famous meme, but it turns into, oh, wait, 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 go back. Turns into Rick Astley. That's awesome. Here's another weird one. Oh, what in the heavens is going on? Oh, and this one is especially weird. If, if it can get weirder, it does. What on earth is going on? 
they're molding melding into each other this is like some sort of creepy costume fetish thing happening and then it gets really creepy <laughs> oh no no oops i stopped it did i stop it yes i did oh no <laughs> this is okay what on earth is going on okay let's stop it let's stop it let's stop it so ai video stuff is happening there's a lot of interesting things oh yeah here's one this is the famous olympics guy who so calmly let's go rewind it he so calmly points his gun with one hand in his pocket and then this porpoise just appears <laughs> and tries to hug him or something and i uh, made a comment on that one saying always remember your porpoise in life here's another weird one guy fixing an air conditioner then it turns into some sort of space situation now he's out in space oh he jumps out the window now he's flying in the earth's atmosphere and there's jet fighters and he's just floating away <laughs> what Oh, oh, now he's skiing. He's skiing in the air. Oh, now he's actually skiing. Some kind of jet-powered skis there. It's amazing. Now he's surfing. And flying through the air into a bird. A strange-looking bird. Okay. Oh, and there's the pyramids. Hey. <laughs> okay, so I think AI is hallucinating too much. This is crazy. So what else is going on in AI? Well, I think probably the most important invention in AI has come out and everybody has missed it. This is amazing. Right here, let me uh, load up the page. This is called Bazigo, the Bazigo Iris. Check this out. Oh, here we go. It's reloading. New smart mosquito guardian. Zigo Iris scans the room with dynamic vision and tracks mosquitoes in a way no other solution does. Bye, spies. It notifies you when it sees a mosquito and marks the spot with an eye safe laser. All that's left for you is making the final punch and get back to sleep. Zigo Iris detects all mosquito types, day or night, even in the dark, always chemical free. Zigo Iris is safe and reliable protecting your health and saves you time and effort. Get Zigo Iris today and start breaking the buzz cycle. So there you have it. The Zigo Iris, a AI intelligent device that tracks down mosquitoes. It doesn't kill them with the laser. It just highlights them in a circle so you know where they are, follows them around, and then buzzes your phone to let you know that it's got a mosquito in its sights so you can just go kill it. I imagine the next generation of it will blast the mosquitoes out of the air. Um, something to that effect. So there you have it, folks. I appreciate you taking the time to watch with me today. I always like to end with a scripture. So this, so I think this one's appropriate the scripture it's from Joshua 1 9 and it says simply this have I not commanded you be strong and courageous do not be terrified nor dismayed for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go and we are in interesting times sometimes scary and terrifying <laughs> like that AI stuff uh, but God is with us. And uh, if you know God, he is with you. Be not afraid or, or dismayed. Don't be terrified. Seek God. Live your life looking up and looking out at the world with the love of God in you. Thanks for tuning in, folks. 
Please like the channel, share and subscribe, share with your friends, let them know, hit the notification bell so you can get the next one. We will see you midweek this coming week with an update on the stats on the channel as I track my path towards uh, monetization and we'll see where we're at. I appreciate your time. Have a great rest of your day. Peace out. To reach the top of the summit I was about yay high when Yahweh told me to run it Only a matter of time before my mind beat a hit in a hundred I swore a sign, he told me to pay more attention, he already done it